Hi, I'm Paul and I'm creative lead for VR Bros Studios. Today I'm gonna show you a piece of mid-game walkthrough of Awake In, a new coming horror for PC VR where you wake up as a human-sized mannequin bound to a wheelchair and get to explore the gloomy past of a Silverin hotel and its inhabitants. In main menu where we are now, you can set some custom options and adjust comfort settings to your liking. The story begins as you wake up in an abandoned hotel. You are trapped and the only voice you hear is that of a mysterious stranger. Is he a friend or just a wolf in sheep's clothing? In this part of game our task is to find key to the basement and get there as soon as possible. But first maybe a little gamble. Hey, let's bet. Don't expose yourself to be shot and everything will be alright. Here we can see Fight Club. A place established by greedy man Bradford Sweets, one of the past inhabitants of Silver Inn Hotel and local druggist of Tiny Ferry Village. Willing to do anything for profit, he established this game house for his own material desires. It's a great place if you need resources and cheap action. You can place a bet on one of the mannequins in the cage. Just plug a battery into the slot, choose your fighter and pull the lever. If you're lucky, you may win some resources, which will help you survive and solve puzzles on your way. The dolls are purely driven by physics, without predefined animations, so you can't predict what they will do. You backed the wrong horse there. Well, no luck this time. Let's go further. I have just powered up wheelchair electrical engine and now I can steer using the joystick. This feature was designed to improve comfort of using a wheelchair, but it also gives you some tactical possibilities while fighting as you only need one hand to use it. You can choose the placement of the stick whether it's on your left or right side in the main menu. Of course you can push the wheels manually, which is faster and doesn't need power supply. Oh, a radio. Let's check what's on air. With the left knob you can adjust volume and the right Somebody one is for search. We have designed and recorded three distinct radio stations. Central Broadcasting Station full of retro hit stuff, Radio Yard with some country music from Moonshiners out there, and also Radio Classica, which is kind of self-explanatory. There is a lot more and they can also hold some valuable info about the waking universe, so be sure to check them out. There appears to be some... Sadie, if you knew the things that were on my list to say, but now that I'm with you, I can't find words. I know. The nights I've lain aloft in the rigging and discussed your beauty with the stars. What times of storm when I've stood around... Hey, let's bet. Filthy gambler, let's move on. Here we can see that this area of the hotel is heavily guarded and it will require more than melee power to pass the guards. This is a static grenade. You're able to craft those if you gather required ingredients. You can use them against the dolls. It will create some interference in Numa flow and immobilize your opponents for a short period of time, but long enough for you to find a safe place or change your combat tactics. Now let's move swiftly and deactivate the control machine before we get caught. Okie dokie, 
Now the Numa receivers are offline and we're safe. For now. Those machines are primary power devices. They send the Numa, energy source originally discovered by Dr. Finnegan, to various devices. They can power up dolls via power receivers, but also those eye cameras and other NUMA powered devices. Now, let's go to the reception desk and find those basement keys. We're at a place which used to welcome guests with its finest splendor. This time has passed away, but there are still some signs of past traffic. What secrets were put here? Well, it's not the time for it now, but this book, as well as other scripts, may be helpful in hotel's history research. As befits a decent hotel, there are a lot of doors in here. Some of them are open, some needs the right key. Reception is the best place to start looking, but I don't think the order has been kept properly in this forgotten place and many keys are spread around the estate. This one's signed B3. Let's check if it's the only one. Here's another. Let's take it too. But before we continue, it's time for commercials. Is your VR game ugly as sin? Is your VR game boring as hell? And is your game a danger for you and other people? We have a solution. So, back again, Awake In Gameplay Part 2, cruising the abandoned hotel corridors and making our way to the heart of darkness, the hotel basement. So, as you heard, we're on our own in the basement and we got a serious mission to complete. No worries, no spoilers ahead. I will only tell you that this is the midsection of the game and there is a huge gameplay piece taking part here, in the entourage of basement gloomy passages. Oh, splendid! We found an oil can which will serve us good. We can lubricate the bearings of our wheelchair to move quietly unnoticed.
Now quiet. There's one of our brothers out there. Let's put him to sleep with the use of one of those babies. Did the trick. Now, let's quickly loot this area and check whether we can find something useful. Got a key. Hopefully it'll be able to open the second basement door. Jackpot! Let's move forward. Wait, Link. Finally! You came here to stop the inevitable? Good luck! You've probably heard this voice before during this gameplay. It accompanies the player through some parts of the game. Does he have anything to do with Dr. Finnegan? Or maybe it was just mishearing? Let this knowledge be disclosed by the players, but you can be sure that its presence has a huge impact on the whole story. But let's get back to the game. Here we can see that the passage is blocked, so we gotta find some way to remove the obstacle. Let's check this passage. Now we know there is a doll there, so it's probably guarding something. No more grenades. Hmm. I think we have no way but to fight. Let's put this all rusty pipe to a good use. Easy peasy. She didn't know what hit her. Ha! We've found an axe. It should be enough to deal with that barricade we saw in the other room. Now, take a look at our weapon snapping system. If one of those is active, it'll snap every time you drop it. To swap those, you just have to dock the new weapon on the wheelchair hanger and it will become your new active weapon. Depending on the situation and environment conditions, you may turn your hand into a grasper. Just another benefit of being a mannequin. Let's move on and smash those planks. Now the tunnel is open and exploration of the basement can be continued. This is the entrance to more obscure chapter of the game where sun never rises and the player needs to rely just on his own knowledge and instinct. That's also the place we end this gameplay. I hope it sparked your curiosity of the rest of surprises we keep in our sleeves. Will you finally meet Dr. Finnegan? Will you discover the secret of the hotel in your own being? Keep your eyes peeled for Wake-In's premiere in the beginning of 2021 to meet the full experience of the hotel in Tiny Ferry. Take care.